Hi friends, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. And today is Hashtag Friendship Friday. And it is an open collaboration that I'm hosting, hostessing, or, or whatever. So um, if anyone would like to join in, please just use Hashtag Friendship Friday. And I let me know, and I'll try to do a search. The last time I did a search weird things came up besides friendship friday um so let me know and i can post your videos um, and link them below your channel but in any case today i am sending out um a box of goodies to a friend who i first got to know one of my first really true junk journal friends um i came to know her because i was searching or um, I don't remember if it was on Etsy or one of the Facebook groups that I was in but in any case I discovered this journal that she made for Christmas it was around Christmas time and I thought it was the cutest thing ever so I ordered it from her and she was having a hard time <laughs> getting it to go through and get to me she wasn't at home and it, it, it was um just a bunch of different things that kind of happened but all of that was god's way of bringing us together as friends because had those mishaps not happened we would not have come to know each other like we do now i don't get to talk to her as much as i would like um, or interact with her as much as I used to but she will always be a dear friend who I will always cherish so I um, think she will know who she is when she hears I'm not um, I wasn't gonna say her name but I will her name is Julie San Miguel and she has a uh, Etsy shop and a YouTube channel called I'm scrapping happy it is so cute she is so funny I love to watch her videos because she makes me laugh her humor and just the way she talks it just makes me smile so I will link her below and encourage everyone to check out Julie she's a wonderful wonderful girl woman uh, we both have grands I have a great granddaughter and she has a granddaughter that are a week apart it was her first granddaughter my first great so she sent me a special little something uh, like a flow journal kind of thing to use to make my great granddaughter a uh, journal and um, we, we share that kind of in common so without further ado let me show you what I am going to gift to Julie and it's just a mishmash of things first I love this little pillow I've had it for a while I got it um, at a thrift store and just have kept hanging on to it and I just felt led to share it with Julie so I'm giving this to her I don't know you know these tags they tell you you, you can go to jail if you tear them off just teasing so it's a beautiful little pillow so so that's for Julie I've got some flowers these uh, are beautiful roses that I feel like Julie could use and then they've got these little buds and the leaves or whatever and and I tried to find things that I think Julie would use you know I tend to go towards really grungy and Julie's style is not grungy she just I've bought several of her journals and she does happy bright colors and fun things uh, very different than mine so I tried to select things I thought she could use these flowers are they not beautiful little roses um, so giving her those because I don't know that I'll ever use them and then here's some that have red and cream love those and I'm sending her it's coming apart this eyelash trim I'm not gonna anyway it's a fuchsia pink so I think Julie will be able to use that these um, flashcards I got either at a yard sale or you know a thrift store uh, but they're really cool the box is coming apart 
they're numbers. Um, they've been gently used. So 19, and you've got 19 flowers, four fish. They've got little pictures on the back. Cars, they'll be great in little golden book journals or for Anastasia, her little granddaughter, or for something for her. So I thought these would be perfect for Julie to use. And I'm hoping I'm sending her things she doesn't already have. Because when someone's been journaling for a long time, they acquire and have a lot of stuff. Excuse again my camera. It is trying to autofocus even though I don't have it on autofocus. So I apologize for that ahead of time. And there it goes now. It's strobing. <laughs> so I'm going to pause and see if I can get it to stop. Okay, we're going to try it again. Um, I got it to stop. I apologize. It's just the way it started acting up. It's, you know, only two years old or so. Um, and it shouldn't be doing that. But anyway, I have this navy blue lace that I got from, a, from Donna Little. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm giving that to Julie. Well, I don't have to keep saying I'm giving this to Julie because it's all for Julie. <laughs> and I hope she likes it all. This is um, the Golden Book Encyclopedia, Book 11, Navy to Parasites. And you see there's uh, Van Gogh, uh, an owl, different things. And it has been used... But I think the cover is cool, so she might could even make a journal out of the cover, which was one of the things I was going to do. But I just have too much stuff. Look at the inside with that beautiful purple. So the, the inside pages are still good, but it does have some pages missing, and they were sewn in. So this is just some cool, it's like kids encyclopedia. It's got some fun images still left to be used. The pages are thick, so they'll make great um, ephemera to use. Isn't that neat? Seashells. There's some pretty owls. And the back side's good, too, so hopefully she will enjoy that. And whatever, you know, she doesn't really want or can't use, she can give to someone else. This is a pattern, a maternity maternity dress pattern but I love the girls um, not sure what year this is from but in any case the patterns there we like to use pattern papers I've got if you saw my hashtag thrifty Thursday video this was part of that ginormous uh, that ginormous dictionary and I pulled out pages that I thought would be fine and some I just randomly took out a whole section because these are sewn in as well so she's got a lot of S's um, and they've got some little images here and there but just good dictionary pages and the pages are kind of thick so they're not super thin like some dictionary pages so again she can use these for, for journal pages um, or ephemera or whatever she wants I have this set of alphabet um, chipboard letters for the whole alphabet, I believe. Oops, that one's coming out. And then these are really cute. This is, this is a camera that came out of its slot. Uh, travel kind of thing. But I thought that would be something she could definitely use show that later. I have these um, pipe cleaners. I bought them and I don't remember what I was going to use them for and I never have. So, or I bought them. I got them. I wouldn't have bought them new. So these were from a thrift store and I don't know when, but it, at one point at Walmart they were 62 cents. I've saved these two butterflies forever in a day and the purple one is so pretty and so is this one and they're, they're on um, like hair clips 
what that one is this one is not so that just to me looks like it they're saying I want to go to Julie's house <laughs> so, Julie's getting my butterflies this is a piece of wrapping paper I've got some more of it that I saved from some kind of gift or no we bought it for Christmas paper but it's you know the craft color with the burgundy so this can be for you know, recipe books um, farm journals any kind of journal I love this paper then I whoops it's trying to run away I've got some of these vintage slides several of those with different pictures on them and there was one in particular that that says Brooklyn and it looks like it's from the 50s so it's pretty cool and one of them this one just because Julie lives in Texas it says El Paso Texas and what's cool about it is it looks like like bullfighters or something I'm not sure what it is but hoping Julie will be able to use these and like these and you know what you can always take the picture out and put a different negative in there or make it a specimen card you know there's lots of things you can do with these that then I have some miscellaneous odds and ends this is a vintage uh, flash card with Z words so you have Z for zebra and then there are other words it's cute these are the Dewey Decimal System library cards that are vintage um, just grabbed a handful of these for her this is a letter from 1946 I've got this whole family um, Nants and Popes from this area um, from 1890 or 1880-something through 1940-something. And this is one of them. And I thought she might... I know she doesn't do grungy, but she does do vintage sometimes. So I love the handwriting. Look at that. June 14th, 1946. He's writing to his sisters and brothers. So that's cool. And then this is another letter from 1945 that's in the same envelope. So that is very cool. And the envelope intact. Probably not the one for the 1945 letter, but it's for the 1946 with the original stamp. This is a vintage postcard, and this is um, Haystacks in Brittany from 1890. It's in the National Gallery of Art in Washington. These are some vintage pictures that I have in my stash. I thought she could use. This is when they did them sometimes look like a postcard, so that's what that one is. This one is on heavy chipboard. A lady and two guys. And I like this one. This looks like a farmhouse with mom and a little boy and her older son, maybe. That's sweet. And then these are vintage bingo cards. Super thick ones. Um, I made once a... Um, MJ Ray bought it. Um... A journal with this is the cover and the back and use the tab method so these are cool for that or for a writing board in a small journal and then here are some random thinner ones bingo cards to put in a journal this is going to be my note to her for a very special friend that has to sit over there <laughs> here's some more um, vintagey postcards that's the thinker I think that's called I can't read it whatever language that is I can't even read it love this stained glass this is Saint Chapel in Paris this is Paris Le Grand Louvre in Paris that beautiful I think Julie likes 
Perry. So she could use this in a journal about Paris. And that's Paris. Look at that. That building gorgeous. And there's another uh, pretty one. This is Versailles. If I'm saying it correctly. And this one was the chapel in Paris. So those are cool. Then I got these at the Dollar Tree. And they are so cute. These are little library pockets. Um, with little birds and birds on the back. And for all her little golden book journals and, and bright journals, that'll be fun. I've got a stack of, life, of Project Life cards, various ones. I'm not a big, I use them, but not, not a lot. So these are pretty cool. I sent those. These are just two. Oh, there's another Project Life card. Here's more. Hmm. Yeah. Um, these two vintage little blank greeting cards. I just love the pattern of the flowers. Um, and this is a photograph of one of my original mixed media paintings that I did with the white pumpkin. And she can back it with cardstock or whatever and use it if she wants. Um, this paper, these are actually placemats that I got at a thrift store. Love, this is boho looking, but these would be great little journal pages or do ephemera with or whatever you want. They're not super thin, but they're not too thick. So there's a whole stack of those. This is super cool. I had sent her one time some paper I think it's made out of bamboo um, and she loved the paper and I bought at a thrift store a couple of um, books that happened to have that paper the one I was going to send her I can't find it <laughs> I, I'm trying to clean gonna clean out my craft room but I, I'm sending her this one instead this one's larger but look at this this is the leaves I don't know what kind of leaves and that's part of I think bamboo and it's tied with this jute or whatever this was from Hawaii Aloha Hawaii and look the stick I love the stick I'm going to keep the stick Judy you can't have the stick because you're going to take it apart anyway I want that stick um so this is bamboo here I'm not sure what that is. These leaves, bamboo don't have leaves like this, so maybe the leaves are from a pineapple tree. But the paper is really cool. So she got several pieces, and it's kind of thick, but um, it's glued together, two together, so she could take it apart and because it comes apart pretty easy, like so and make a pocket out of it um, or cut it however she wants to do it. So I think this is pretty cool that you can do that. So anyway, lots of that paper. It almost feels like cloth. It's really cool paper. And she loved it. So Julie, for you, especially. Then I have some just fabric pieces. This I got it Goodwill and it has this cool crocheted trim and it already looks coffee dyed but it's not and I tore a big piece off I think this was a, a bedspread or something like that but it's a pretty good piece that she can use I've got these little doily vintage uh, doilies that I get from Donna Little these were in like a grab bag so some of them may be torn, but they can still be used. That one's not. Cute. So these are torn, but still usable. These are really cool. I've never seen any like this. There's two of those. This one has something blue across that, but you could use it on that side. I use these in my journals, every journal just about. There's not hardly a journal I do that doesn't have a doily in it. I have this piece of fabric. I just think it's so pretty. It's, you know, 
piece of it's been used but there's enough to make um, a journal cover or it can be a fabric flip but it's so pretty I'd let her have that I have a heart doily she probably has some of those so I'm just sending one here are some additional trims I got this from Donna and this is all vintage trim and doily stuff this could be tea dyed or dyed any color Isn't that pretty it's a pretty good piece this I got from Dust Fairy Sophia my little buddy has such beautiful saris and fabrics and this is just a gorgeous piece so I send that to Julie Here's a little snippet piece of lace with the pink trim. It's cute. Here's a piece of a doily that I was going to use on something and I cut it up. There's that. There's another one. It was a vintage linen of some sort. And um, I cut it out. All the extra strings, no charge. Um, a little just a little piece cut off piece that I have excuse me somebody just text me and then here's one I use a lot and I'm almost out of see all the sparkly glitter on it love that I've got this black um, stuff that I got off of a dress here is a vintage part of a vintage doily that I've used a piece of it A little piece of ribbon <laughs> this was a dress and I love this lace Give her a piece of that this is vintage I love that I almost don't want to let that one go oh that ain't supposed to go I put some in here I didn't mean to put in here um, that is off of a dress it's pretty this was a skirt that I cut up and um, it looks boho and I think that is really pretty it's cotton with the sequin sorry made you sit with my hitting the camera I've got this fabric I got at a thrift store and it's huge so I've given her a huge piece but it is so cool look at the purses and shoes high heels on it is adorable so it could be used for a lot of different things Here's another beautiful piece that was a dress that I use a lot. It's got um, beads and sequins on it, so it's really pretty. Hard to let that go because I am running low on that. And this is just a couple of little squares of um, crocheted stuff off of a jacket I cut up. Then I have... this little book I got several of these at Goodwill and I thought these would make the cutest journals you can leave it like that you know to tie um, and there's papers in there so it's already kind of started and you could add or take away so I thought she could use and would like that here's another pattern Vogue here are some vintage photos this is just an old old envelope that says to granny I just <laughs> I love that envelope this is off of a 45 record which young people won't know what that is but Julie will know and she can make something cool out of that then I have a bunch of different napkins that I'm sending her way there we go this one's cool it's like shape like that more than I can use Valentine one tomorrow I'll definitely start I'm definitely starting yoga I can hear Julie saying that <laughs> it's funny Christmas one these I love I've used these quite a bit there's fall there's a turkey there's lots of different ones some more turkeys and pumpkins a seashore thing 
flamingos, a parrot. So that's all the napkins. Then one of these pockets that I made. Um, that I have a tutorial on my channel that for these. Um, it says, you are so loved. Just shine and be you. I want her to have that. Here are some more. These are postcards I got at an estate sale that are from the 40s, I believe. So, very pretty and very old. That's Notre Dame or a view from Notre Dame. That pretty sunset. So sharing the New Orleans. Notre Dame. Somewhere over there. Uh, this is just an old advertisement. Here are some more vintage photos that I got at the estate sale. I love this one with Grandma. She's grinning. And then these are some um, from the 1800s, some small cabinet cards that I am sharing with her. And then here's a few larger ones. Oh, that one wasn't supposed to be in there. Nope, sorry. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> Some of these are really cool. And then these are vintage. Um, and these are all postcards about Indians, like way long ago. So it tells who they were. Geronimo. And aren't these gorgeous? This is Sitting Bull. So being in Texas and what have you, I thought Sioux War Chief Gaul. Looks, they just look so regal. Washaki, chief of the Shoshone Indians. So I don't know, Julie, if you will do a journal about Texas or Indians, the Native Americans um, would be an awesome journal. And I thought of you, Benito. I can't even pronounce what tribe he is from. High Horse. I just think these are so cool. Spotted Eagle. Look at that headdress. They were amazing. Young man afraid of his horses. His name was Tasunka Kakapapi, which means young men fear his horses. He's smoking a pipe. Lee Snipes, known as Captain Sky in 1920, showing authentic Klamath Indian attire. So this is someone dressed like an Indian. Or Native American, I'm sorry. And this is cool. It's two cowboy guys swapping yarns. Painting by Mark R. Stewart. And that is Red Cloud, Chief of the Sioux. So those are cool. And these um, I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. They were $15, brought down to $374, and I've never used them. So I decided it was time to give them up. Sorry for all the junk on them. <laughs> uh, but really cool little sticker papers and things. This is just cute, cute, cute. And um, this spool. I thought she would like and this black um, thread is kind of thick with the gold shiny gold running through it this is a pack of boho type um, cut up pieces that I got from um, Amor Fabrics and she Selena is an awesome 
place to get all kinds of vintage things. I've bought a lot of stuff from Selena. So a pack of those. Um, this is a hundred, I think, uh, pink shades, whale tub punches. I was going to sell in my store and I've yet to list them, but giving Julie a pack. And then last but not least, I have these I got in an estate sale. Um, this has a fish, little spoon, it's so cute, and I can't tell what the spoon is, Wisconsin is what that says in there. These were like souvenir spoons, but they're old. And this one is the Great Smoky Mountains, Lynchburg, Tennessee. They're cute, but they'd be cute in a little kitchen journal or hanging as off of a tassel. And then all of these um, vintage buttons. I'm not going to pull them all out, but there's black and white, cream, a um, couple pink. And then this was off of a, this is not old. This was from a little bingo thing for the kids that they ever used. And I thought Julie would love to use those. So, my friends, this is my friendship try. Oh! Got a couple more things I forgot about. Um, another snippet from a dress. This ribbon that I had gotten at um, the thrift store. A little snippet of pink. And this polka dot ribbon. So, now, the last thing that I have, I get these from Hopeful Bird, and I love them. And this one. I open it and I won't be able to put it back the way it is. It, they, she wraps them. Wendy is her name. I would tell you to go there. She has the coolest stuff, especially if you like grungy. But this is called a battle book. And I thought of Julie. Warrior of Light and Love. And it's full of scripture and places to write. And it's tied with the muslin. And she, Wendy draws these. These are her little birds but I don't know what that is when you battle a giant you do not go alone heaven comes to fight with you so they're reminders and then you have all these little pages and you, she, Julie can write some scriptures in them um, and carry it in her purse for reminders God didn't bring you this far to leave you Philippians 1 6 there's cute little books the one who hangs the stars will wrestle your giant. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So anyway, I wanted her to have that. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. And I pray you will pay it forward and encourage some of your friends and people that you know um, on hashtag Friendship Friday. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.